your characters have had both had massive years. If you had to pick some sort of standout storylines, what would it be for both of you? Goodness me. Um, you mean the ones that we've done? Um, or we've been, yeah. very, we've been very, very lucky because um, I had a John Paul, my character, I had a big uh, male rape storyline uh, in which um, Kieran's character played a huge part, and then vice versa. Um, Steve, Kieran's character had a big HIV storyline, which I was also heavily involved. So we've both had these these big important storylines that we've really got our teeth into, but we've actually both supported each other in, in them as well, yeah, which has been, been really it's lovely. It's been quite surreal the fact that John Paul went through this most devastating thing, and then Steve being the supporter, and then later on in the year it reversing, then John Paul having to be the one to support Steve. So we feel like we've both been through similar experiences. We have. I think I think I think whether we whether we win or lose tonight, I. I we both feel really, really proud of what we've done and what we've achieved and how well it's been received and the impact that it's had. So, I mean, that's kind of a, an award in itself to be a cliche. Yeah. Have you had sort of any moving feedback from people, you know, in connection with both your storylines? Yeah, yeah, incredible. Um, I, uh, I got a poem sent to me from um, a 16-year-old um, lad who... I won't go into what his life, but he's had a horrific, the most horrific time, and he sent me a poem, and I, I can't even, I can't even read it, man. It's too sad. I'm sure you've had similar stuff from people with HIV. And I think the most rewarding thing is, I'll be honest and say it myself. Before I started the HIV storyline, my, um, in my head, I was like, so when you have a HIV test, you have it, and then you wait for two weeks, and that must be like the most horrendous two weeks. Thinking, what if, what if, what if. But from reading the scripts and then because we have such a young demographic, the instant reaction of Twitter was, oh my God, I didn't realise how easy it was that you can now have a test and it takes 60 seconds to find out. So I think that's the thing I'm most proud of, the fact that I've learned things myself and we've now shown this really young demographic that there isn't that much sex education in school. So the fact that we're doing it on our show that kids actually love and we're helping them to lead a safer adult life, I think can only be a good thing. Now, what's on the cards for John Paul and Steve? Because it's been a bit rocky, hasn't it? Anything you can tease? Uh, Sinead seems to be getting in the way. How? <laughs> I'll take responsibility um, for that. I feel like Steve's not very good at relationships, is he? You think? How many times have you been married? I know. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, I, th I think what I'm allowed to say, we, we, we split, our character split up on screen this week. Um, but there's hints that they might get back together in the future. I mean, it, you know, it's it's Hollyoaks, you know, We're, there's always going to be something. And our, I think we work really well together as acts, and I think our characters uh, kind of work together. They're chalk and cheese, but they kind of work. So I'll be very surprised if we don't have more stuff together, you know, later this year. Now, the Glovetown murderer is on the loose. How are the cast feeling about that? Are you worried you're on the endangered list? What's going on? No one wants to be called up to Brian's office for a meeting. No. Nobody. <laughs> any clues as to who it might be or any suspicions? I've got friends and family ringing me every day. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Which always happens with these big storylines. But again, I genuinely don't know. I don't think anybody knows at this point. Nobody knows. No. None of us know. They wouldn't trust us because we've all got big gobs. But I'm just surmising in my head. I don't think it's going to be anybody that works at the hospital because it will be too obvious. Yeah. Yeah, I'd go with that. I hope it's not me, though. I want to stay. Think I think it's Tom. Little Tom. I think it's little Tom. Okay. He's got an evil, he's got an e a darkness in his eyes. He's only young, but well, you heard it here first, there's an though, evilness yeah. there. Now, all the Hollyoaks cast are looking pretty sharp tonight. If you had to nominate a female and male cast member for Best Dressed Award, who would it be? We haven't seen anybody yet, because we were one of the first ones We've on the carpet. We've been I've just seen Amanda. Amanda Clapham looked wow. Amanda Clapham. She's there. She um, normally, Georgie Porter's always on fire with hers, and Jennifer Metcalf. She has got the body, so I'd say out of them two. And who are you looking forward to catching up with from some of the rival soaps? I always love, I mean, I spent two brilliant years on Emmerdale, so I always look forward to seeing uh, Jeff Hordley, Danny Miller. Um, you know, I love all that lot. They're, they're, a, they're a superstar. So for me, yeah, I look forward to seeing them. What about you, Kieran? Who doesn't want to see Danny Dyer? So yeah, there we oh, go. Danny Dyer. Really? Danny, really? I love Danny Dyer. In what way? Do you love, love Danny Dyer? I just think he's great. What are you going to say to him? Danny, I love you so much. All right, mate. All right. <laughs> Get out of my pub. Something like that, yeah.